Hey everyone, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide and we are here at the 2019 Vulture Fest in Hollywood. We are going to be talking to some of the cast of The Good Place, Toy Story 4, Bachelor Nation, and Pen15. You guys are going to love these interviews. It's so much fun, so stay tuned. I just watched your guys' music video the other day. It was absolutely adorable. What was the process of that? Did you like help creatively come up with these scenarios? How did he find you? Um, you know, we actually heard a song on the radio when we were coming back from a trip to Aspen. And um, we storied it on our Instagrams. And he happened to see it. I think his girlfriend pointed it out. And then um, a few months later, he contacted us and was like, hey, I'm actually doing a music video. We want you guys to be in it, and it worked out. So, so I mean, you're famous in the video. Like, why wasn't Cassie famous? I wanted Cassie to be famous for a scenario. Oh. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> I know when she first heard what we were doing, she's like, why can't I be the movie star? And I was like, babe, you're the movie star every single day. No. Um, yeah, it was, it was so much fun to do that. And Adam's super, super talented and very creative, and we were honored to be in the, in the video with him. Uh, first and foremost, I mean, there's always so many rumors, especially when there's so many Bachelor couples breaking up. Do you guys ever get insecure about like what's going on in your relationship because of that? Get on over here. Come on. Let's join the party. So, I don't get insecure because of outside stuff, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Um, outside stuff doesn't affect our relationship or other people's relationships aren't affecting ours. Um, we have our own things to deal with, so yeah, we're, we're, we kind of put blinders onto the noise. I would say. Well, for you, Chris, after being on the show, you know, a hundred times and everything, <laughs> and I and I watched the first one. Like I've been through your journey the whole time. Like it, it has been. Um, what was it about Beautiful Katie here that made you actually, you know, follow through with this stuff? You know, I think from the very beginning, I just felt really comfortable around Katie, and uh, even though you know this time around it wasn't you know as smooth as some other uh, you know relationships have been, she just always makes me feel like home. And comfortable, uh, so that's kind of what separated, you know, this experience from everybody else. I have to ask: in the show, in one of the recent episodes in um, Brett's book, they do kind of this reference to possibly you being cast in Top Gun. Like, do you know if that was done on purpose? Because it was such a weird connection. Everything on the show is for a reason. Our our writers are incredibly smart and really like to put in hints and little Easter eggs, so yeah, I wouldn't doubt that that was purposeful on their behalf. So when you read it, did you kind of chuckle, or did someone have to point out, like, I think this might be about you? I think, yeah, I definitely had a laugh about that, but um, I mean, with our writers, they're super smart, and they're, they know how to finesse things that t they always end up making us look nice and, and talk good things, or say good things about us, so it's it's always a nice little nugget that they, they Okay, so about. real quick, what were your OG screen names? I need to know. Star four way C. <laughs> Mia Maya Pi. I still wish my, I lied. <laughs> yeah, my, it's still my iCloud account. Okay, well, now I know. Knows. I know. Mine was Ms. America 789, oh. apparently. Oh. Yes. I was never a pageant girl, but you know. That okay. must have been a hard one to get. Yeah. They got, <laughs> as, as time went on, they got really hard. That's an original one. I'm your guys' age, so I was early on. Okay, <laughs> right. well, we deserve it. Okay, so we're here this evening for Vulture Fest. Obviously, the fans are going to want to know, do you have any idea about a second season? And what would that look like if we did? We're filming it right now. We're actually two weeks into filming. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, doing two seasons essentially at once, but we're going to drop 2A, we're calling it, and then 2B later this year. Yeah. Yeah, it's been really, really crazy. We've been writing for probably four months, 15 episodes, and it's, it's coming. We're working hard. So you've become friends with a lot of the younger generation of Bachelor Nation. How do you think, though, that we can maybe knock it up older? Not older. I mean, you know, late 20s, early 30s for people that are legitimately ready to, to get married. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think it would do the franchise well if they... Uh, you know, I think it was fun that it was young, but maybe, you know, late 20s, early 30s probably is a, a, a good age to try as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but Pete's 27, 28, so, you know, I'm, we'll see how, how, how old are his women. Do you know? I haven't looked. I have. It's young. 
Ish. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean. Best of luck, Ian. Would you ever do a season of The Bachelor where you spoiled yourselves right away? Like, would that be enjoyable in any way for you guys? Um, it's kind of unavoidable, I'll say that. Like, <clears throat> I've gotten every season that goes on further and further from ours. I seem to be able to hold off from knowing. I never seek out the information because I truly do want to watch it like a regular fan. But um, somebody will always end up just saying something in my comments or tweeting me something. And I'm like, no, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so just like everybody out there, don't don't spoil it for me because I really try to stay away. Yeah. I like up spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> it's just I'm that type of person. I want to know. Yeah. That's all. Have you done it this season at all? For it's almost over now. Uh, no, no. But once it starts ramping up, yeah, I'd be like, all right, yeah, I wonder who wins. Let me look it up. But also, the spoilers aren't always right. I mean, I was on a season where the spoiler was wrong. So yeah, you just you know you never know. So read it, you know, read the spoilers with uh, an open mind. Or don't read the spoilers, just watch the show. Enjoy the show. <laughs> I'm a spoiler reader, I have to say. Uh, but so, so, Sam, seeing that you look up spoilers, how does that affect you watching the show? I'm a storyteller myself, so I like to watch how it's going to happen. If I'm going to see a movie that I love, I want to see it twice. Did you know that Colton was going to pick Cassie? Yes, I did. So you want, but you watched his entire season? Yes, I did. So you wanted to see how that love developed over the course of the season? Pick up little Easter eggs, little hints that were happening along the way. Absolutely. Very interesting. Well, I'm Jared Haven. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Back to you, Susie.